This is Ian from In 30 Minutes Guys. Today we'll be talking about line and paragraph spacing in Microsoft Word. And if this video helps you, please take a moment to follow our channel or like the video. And let's get started with Microsoft Word. This is the Mac OS version of Word for Microsoft 365. What I'm about to show you is the same in Mac OS or in Windows. Exactly the same. Just open up the document and there's basically two ways to change the line, uh, the line and paragraph spacing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight these two paragraphs. And let's say that we think that these two paragraphs are too tightly together. Easy way to change that on the Home tab in, in uh, Windows or in Mac OS. Go to the right until you see this little icon. Maybe it might be hard to see, but if you hover over it, it says Line and Paragraph Spacing. And then you just select it. And you'll see the default here is 1.0. That means that each each uh, line is each line of text is exactly on its own line. There's no spacing between them. Uh, although you can you can see a little bit of spacing exists. That's that's more because of the font size than anything else. If you select one of these other numbers like uh, 1.5, that will increase the spacing by 50%. If I go back to it and select uh, 3.0, you'll see. Now there's basically, you know, two blank lines for every for every uh, line of text that I have there, and it also applied the spacing to the paragraph as well. Now let's go back and find the other way to change the line and paragraph spacing. If you go to the Design tab, there is a similar tool. It's called Paragraph Spacing, and it's a little bit different in terms of the way they approach it. And you know, maybe if you're you know, not into the technical details if it's 1.5 or whatever. They, uh, Microsoft has helpfully put in some very uh, clear ideas of what this is, like uh, relaxed, tight, compact. So let's, ch let's choose compact. And then actually you can see it boosted the spacing a little bit. So I don't know exactly what that is, but it, it just made it a little bit wider. If I wanted to go double, I could do that too. And you can see that it actually applied it to the whole document. So that's one difference between using this particular feature, paragraph spacing. It's for the whole document versus going to the Home tab and just doing a single paragraph at a time. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re reduce this to one. So I just did that for the single paragraph. But you can see the rest of the document is still uh, double spaced because I made the change on the design tab. For more information on how to get the most out of Microsoft Word, we have an updated version of our top selling guide, Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes. This is the third edition. It covers uh, Word for Microsoft 365 for both Windows and Mac OS, as well as Word for the Web, which is Microsoft's free online version, kind of competes with Google Docs. If this video helped. Please take a moment to like the video and follow us on YouTube. This is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.